This is a story about a beach. But first, here's a little bit about myself. Growing up in Florida is exactly how you would imagine. As a kid, I spent most of my days at the beach. I started surfing when I was around seven years old and kept it up ever since. I also used the beach for the occasional launching of fireworks. That was my favorite. The beach was my home. It was my safe spot. See, most kids growing up have something called snow days, where they would get to skip school because of the weather. Well, for us Floridians, it was hurricanes. But just like how kids made snowmen on snow days, Florida kids, well, we surfed. Yeah, I am the king of the E. Get it put like the DJ. Yeah, I am the where we play. We got to chop where we play. Okay. Yeah, come through the city, we're gonna chop. Yeah, still just like some sushi. Yeah. AK 40 sound stick, go stupid. Yeah. Draw the money out all over. Yeah. Okay, little dirty, nappy headed, East Atlanta. Father said it not with the force. 44 Hank Aaron Chrome, wanna make it home, then get out the porch. Let it cover faded for I had the faded at the faded for it. Tomato or tomato, either way the boy the great play it. I won't say it no more. I was just f***ed up. I was just down, down bad. I had to in my mind, this was something that was normal. It just happened. And after the storm was gone, we would all help out in picking up branches and cleaning up the beaches. But year after year, the storms kept getting worse and worse. Unbelievable. The beach completely eroded all of this. The yards are collapsed down here. It wasn't until I was a bit older when I could fully comprehend how and why this was happening. It was around high school I kept hearing this term. Climate change. It's an issue many young Americans are very passionate about. Last year, extreme weather events across the region killed 2,000 people and affected millions. This latest report warns climate change is intensifying the severity of climate disasters. Fires. Tornadoes. Tsunamis. Holy crap! And hurricanes. What does all this mean? Is there any hope? Or is our planet we call home doomed for destruction? I believe there is hope. My beach is currently being restored thanks to government officials making plans to redesign the area to withstand more storms. Although natural disaster rates are at an all-time high, new laws have been created to prevent pollution, including the Clean Air Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the Paris Agreement Act. But it is up to us to make the real change. Turn off your lights when you leave the house. Wash your laundry in cold water. Buy an electric car. These are all things that you can do to reduce gas emissions by a ton. Be the change so your community isn't disrupted by this climate crisis. In a final ode to my beach, I love you. You have brought me so much happiness, and I hope in 30 to 40 years, I'll still be able to visit you.